Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel here at Crypto Nation. Hey, I just want to say, hey, thanks for all my recently new subscribers. It means a lot. Of, and if you're new here, uh, it's totally free. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button for post notifications. Hey, let's uh, get right on to it. Uh, Bitcoin, you know, uh, the market kind of dipped again last, overnight. Uh, slightly Bitcoin it dipped. It, I heard it dipped down to 59K, but it's it's back over 60K, uh, get, getting back close to 61K. Now, Ethereum dipped. It dipped, dipped over 3,000, but it's close. To, it's, you know, it's right under 3,000, basically. There's Solana, 131. So there's your top by market cap. All your top cryptos by market cap is right here. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on with that. Um, okay, before we continue, hey, if you'd like to support the channel, my Cash App and PayPal will be in the description. Or, you know, get the channel membership because I do drop content for the channel members um yeah the channel members because you can see my portfolio you know we could just share ideas and you know and everything and, you know um and you know uh you know share our portfolios you know share ideas and you can see my portfolio uh and just get feedback from each other you know uh but anyways let's get right on to it uh so it's gonna be an update on swift coin um we're at, we're holding pre pretty good actually we're holding at about We've been holding between like 47 to, to like 49 for the past, you know, a couple of days now, even after the flash crash. Uh, but yeah, Swift is looking pretty um, good. Uh, here's we're still down 18 percent for the week right now. We're up. Um, it looked like we're up. Excuse me. No, we're down 0.2 percent, still up over 300 percent for the year. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's take take a look at the volume here. This is going to be a quick, just a quick update. Okay, the market cap, 19 million. Now we're at a 19 million market cap. The volume is down 32%. Same tokenomics. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much what's going on. Uh, the, the market has been... Oh, damn. There's uh, current, you know, been current events going on pretty much. Uh, definitely got some uh, current events as far as the, uh, uh, the the war going on. So, you know, we're still not sure. There could be a, there's rumors there could be a black swan event um, coming up here in the next, in the next, uh, any moment there's rumors of a, um, of a black swan uh so yeah um you know with the whole war in the middle east we're not sure how that's going to affect bitcoin and crypto but you know we just have to sit back and see uh you know what's going to happen with that but you know hey uh we're literally two days away from the bitcoin having guys two days away tomorrow's thursday and friday the bitcoin having is friday we're literally like Honestly, not even two days, but like a day and a half. <laughs> Literally, like I'll just say, I'll say two days. I'll just say two days. Yeah, we're two days away from the having. Um, we're here, guys. We're we're here. The preseason is almost over. Now, there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of speculation of what's going to happen with the crypto market after the having. We could see some um, more, you know, flash crashes, or the market could be trade flat for the next month or two or something like that after the having, but like I said, I believe by this summer, by like, you know, June, uh, late May, June, July, our parabolic run is gonna start. That's just what I believe, you know? I believe a lot of life-changing gains is gonna be made by like between July, between June and August. I, I, I just feel those are gonna be some three big months in crypto because you gotta think about it. It's a couple of months after the having, they're gonna eventually run out of Bitcoin. You got all these, Everybody in all the think about it, you have the uh, the BRICS nations. They're definitely in in digital currency and crypto. China's already approved their spot Bitcoin ETF. Like I said in previous videos, there's nowhere to go but but up from here. Pretty much, you know, like I said, there's pretty much nowhere to go but up uh, at at this point, you know, in time. Uh, but yeah, um, let me see here. Okay, go back to community comments. 
So yeah, as far as Swift, man, we're looking good. We're we're still holding at about you can see where we're holding support between like 47, 48. It's been holding between 47 and 48 for the last couple of days. So man, we're 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 still looking good, man. Uh some cryptos are, are down. Um, you know, some are up. Uh but yeah, um that is my update on the market. Let me see here. Look at the community comments. And like I said, thanks again to all my recently new subscribers. Um, let me see if there's some news. I haven't found out any new major news with Swift uh, besides what I've been already talking about. You know, we, we know about the, uh, what's that, the, uh, the Metapath and all that. I talked about in the past about they got the big backers and the team, they got a visa. Yeah, I think it was confirmed that actual team, they got a visa to operate in the United States, a business visa, because, you know, this this project was originated in China. So you got, you know, I think yeah, it was a Chinese lady who, who actually created this project of uh, SWIFT. Uh, I, I, she, in my opinion, she's a genius, man, in my opinion. You, you know, whoever thought about that will need cross-chain swaps with low, you know, with low gas fees. You know, who, who would have ever thought about that, you know, back in like 2017, 18. But yeah, guys, uh, with that low market cap and just the utility and that low market cap, this, like I said, this is hands down my most bullish altcoin play right now. You know, my but this is my most bullish altcoin play just because of that low market cap as well. Like, like we're literally sitting at right under a 20 million market cap right now. You can't get no better than that. And this, and this is a real utility, you know, with the cross chain swaps. And think about what institutions need to do like a cross chain swap like an institution, who are they going to come through? Um, obviously, I think they're going to come to Swift, Swift and Metapath. You know, I think there's a reason why they got, they got a special uh, business visa, the, the, you know, the, the operator United States from China. So that says a lot, guys. You know, uh, Research Underdog talked a lot of, you know, talked about that in one of his other videos. But yeah, he says Swift will hit 50 cents a few months after that happened. Yep, I believe that's possible. I believe by July, possibly by July, August, we can we can probably be at 50 cents, make that life changing gains, especially if you're holding a lot of tokens. You know, everybody who's holding at least like 500K to a million swift, man, we're in that category. We will make definitely make life changing gains. You know, like I said, I'm holding 1.1 million myself. So, yeah, swift, man, the swift family is strong, man. We're definitely we're definitely going to head to the promised land. That there would be nothing to hold us back, you know, with this project. And I just like the way where it's it's holding at good support levels. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, ho hope everybody have a good Wednesday. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. And thanks again to all my recently um, new subscribers. Uh, yeah, get the channel membership. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, like again, my uh, PayPal and Cash App will be in the description. That's what keeps me going. I like, you know, I like to keep you guys updated to what's going on in the market and everything. But anyways, yeah, hey, I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys. And happy Wednesday again.